Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's going to be. YouTube. What's happening? It's your boy Penny LS1 back up in this thing. 2022. Y'all, come on. Give me to a thousand. I'm almost there. I appreciate everybody. But check it out. I am working on two boxes at the same damn time. I'm not sure what order y'all can get these videos in, but I'm working on the box for the Malibu and also the box for the Monte Carlo. I finished the box for the Malibu. I just got to put the top on it. So check this one out real quick. It's kind of rough around the edges. Mind you, I ain't made a box in over 14 years. So my circles ain't perfect. I did put a little round over on them, but don't mind that. It's going to sound good. Got a little center brace in there. I just need to cut the hole out for the wires. So these going in the Malibu. These are two SDR. Scar SDR. 10 inch. Project SS aka mini skirt. She getting three of these boys. I'm going to show you. So I told you I didn't want to take. I don't want to take up none of my trunk space. For my woofers. Nothing going up there. So I still got all this down here nice so what i'm putting in here though is the the speaker that i took out of my porsche which is this little shallow mount right here because of the space over there where i just showed you where that box set this speaker is going to be perfect so i got this one and then i got those two over there so i'm gonna have to order two more of these these are different than that they both handle these handle 500 watts rms those handle no this yeah those handle 600 each and this one handles five. So that'll be 1500 going into the mount into the Monte Carlo and 1200 handling into the to, uh, to the Malibu. So I'd have made a mess, but um, let me get back to it, man. I got a, I like, so I just cut the front and the bottom just to check for my spacing. So I just got to do the, the top, back, the side to side. Y'all know how it is, but all right, man, let me get back to it. One. So I've already got everything cut out. I've got, these are gonna be braces. These two pieces are here, interior braces. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna cut out, like on the one in the in the Malibu, I, I cut out, a, I think it was a three quarter inch square. So it's just a big hole. For this one, I'm gonna put like, I'm gonna do four triangles in each corner to keep it more surface area for the brace. So that's the baffle. Y'all don't laugh at my circles. <laughs> I'm trying to do everything freehand. I don't have any, I don't have a table saw. I have a router, but I don't have a router table, or I don't have the uh, circle cutting jig. So I'm trying to do it by hand, which I will. So I already got the holes for the woofers, and then this is gonna go over top. And I just need to cut this piece out right here, and that way the woofer will set flush. So that's the front baffle, the interior braces, left, right, bottom, top, and the back, I believe. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. I'm gonna put you on time lapse while I glue everything together and get everything uh, nailed together. And then uh, I'll show you the completed enclosure in the trunk. So let's go ahead and get this time lapse rolling. Thank everybody for rocking with your boy. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at PennyLS1. And for all your merch, if you wanna support the channel, go to PennyLS1.com, pick you up a hoodie or a t-shirt. Let's get it. So as y'all can see, my cutting skills is halfway ass decent. I'm definitely gonna have to get me like a table saw and maybe some uh, some templates for my router so I can make my circles uh, perfect circles. So, but this is what we got. It's exactly what I was going for. It sticks out just a little bit past the back deck, but as far as it can go back without interfering with the hinges 
on the trunk. So as you can see, the trunk does close. So that is perfect. And like I was just doing, making this brace. So I gotta make the other one, but I routed, routed a round over this with a router bit so that the air that passes by that is on the smooth edge. Um, and I just gotta finish the other one. That thing there was kind of a pain to make. So I just traced it out and I'll just cut it out again with my jigsaw. So, so let me get all this buttoned up and then uh, I'll come back and close y'all out here in a second. But I still do have to order my other speakers. I haven't ordered the other two SCAR VD shallow mount woofers. So once again, I'm putting three shallow mounts in the Monte Carlo and I've already got the woofers in the Malibu. I'm actually about to readjust my amp again with the with my multimeter, but I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get a bigger amp. I'm running 900 watts at one ohm on those two SDR tens, and it's, it hits, but I think they need some more power. I mean, they're rated at 600 watts each, so I need about 1200 watts to get them to the max. So I'm gonna play this. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it on this amp, but when I buy these three speakers or these two speakers for the Monte, I may end up getting the same amp that I'm gonna use for this one because these are gonna be 1500 watts I could probably put 1200 on them and they'll be fine and then those are 1200 so I'll probably just get two 1200 watt amps I don't, but see that's the thing SCAR don't make a 1200 watt amp they have a 1500 watt all right y'all I know I had said that SCAR audio doesn't make a 1500 watt or a 1200 watt sub um, amplifier well they do just not in the configuration that I need so if you look at this, the wiring here that I need, I have three subwoofers that are dual four ohm with one amp. These are my options, 0 0.67 or 2.67. So if you come over here and look at the SCAR amp that I'm looking at, it's the SKV2 3500.1D. It's capable of both one ohm and two ohm. I can't get a one ohm load, I'll be below one ohm, so I can't get that, I won't be able to run the 3500. And at two ohms, it does 2050, which will be, even though I'll be, I'll be wired at 2.67 ohms, I still don't think that that'll get down below or close to 1500 watts, so that may be overkill. So, and then for that price, yeah, that's a no-go. So I'm actually looking at this amp right here. It's a Soundstream Reserve. RS1.8000D has two 80 amp fuses. I already have a one out fuse holder with 160 amp ANL fuse. But if you look at this setup here, at one ohm or at two ohm, it'll run 1700 watts RMS. And I'll, like I said, I'll be at 2.67, so that'll get me somewhere close to 1500 watts. Should be within tolerant. And as you see right here, it does require one out power and ground wire, and it has two 80 amp fuses. So this is what I'm gonna go with. And for this price, $349.99, as compared to $620.49 for this one, which won't be compatible anyway, no brainer. So just wanted to show y'all that. All right, John, now back to the video. And uh, what was the other one? So what I'll probably do, I don't know. We'll figure it out, but let me uh, let me button this up, man. I just wanted to show y'all what I was working on. Got the Monte Carlo. I know y'all probably tired of the Malibu content, but look at that. You can't tell me that ain't nice. And that's just the box. I do have. I mean, that's just the, the yeah the enclosure. I do. I am gonna make a. Well, I was gonna make a beauty panel, so I don't know how I'm gonna do it now. Cause I, I wanted this to be flush, but I guess I still could make it and just have it kind of curve. I don't know. We'll figure it out, man. But uh, let me get back to it. <laughs> 